in the street, you see this guy walk up to you, or just even walking there in general, and you just want to punch him right in the face. It's so weird. He said absolutely nothing to you or done anything to actually offend you, but he just has that kind of a face that you're just like, I just, just want to punch you. I just want to punch you. The reason I bring this up, of course, is because of today's band. Ladies and gentlemen, Paramore. How's that for a segue? The band Paramore actually started in 2004 when Haley Williams and the Pharaoh Brothers got together with Jeremy Davis at a pretty young age. In fact, Zach was only about 12 when this actually happened. The name comes from the Pharaoh Brothers' mother's maiden name, although a second spelling to this, of course, is Paramore in French, which means secret lover. So because of the spelling of Paramore being the maiden name, they stuck it together. I actually kind of like this because it shows their bond as people and their friendship. It actually shows that they're really good friends, that they're going to stick together through thick and thin, and that the band is going to live on and on and... Oh. Actually, that's a pretty interesting point to make up, considering Jeremy Davis left the band early on, too. He came back, of course, a few months later, but still, he did leave. So, Haley Williams is the only member to have never left this band. Wow. One thing I found out about this band is that Haley Williams was actually signed to a record contract when she was 14, right around when this band first started. Yeah, I kind of like that. Especially considering the band didn't automatically get their Atlantic record signing right away. They had to earn their spot. Unlike some other bands I may or may not have talked about in the past. Bullshit! 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 I'm sorry, I have allergies. Starting very, very young, the band would tour around Taste of Chaos in 2005. And what was really cool and funny about this was that their parents drove them around from city to city. That actually showed their dedication to music and showed just how much they were willing to actually play their instruments and play themselves off. You know, the more and more I talk about this band, the more I'm starting to sound like a dickhead for not even liking this band. I mean... I've only talked about only good things, that this band has worked hard, that they have actually done some pretty good stuff. I never can figure it out, so why exactly don't I like them? Oh, right. I remember now. See, my problem with it is it's all just a race to the end from these guys. Each member just plays louder than the other so that they can outnumber them. It's unnecessary and annoying. And I'll give you a good example of what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna go ahead and play this. This is a song off of the most recent album to be released as of the date of this recording, of course, Brand New Eyes. Here's the single that came out from it. Now, if you can find a way to separate that music in your ears, it sounds great. I mean, the singing is beautiful, a little too loud for my taste, but at the same time, she can hold a good note. The guitars work 
absolutely amazing. Bass has a perfect line that you can remember for a long, long time. And I really even like the drums. Drop, drop, drop. But the fact is, it all just sounds so rushed and like they're all trying to show off their talents the best. Like each member wants just them to be heard only. The problem is that's not how it's supposed to be with a band. You're supposed to be a well-oiled machine. And if you're just in it for yourself, you should just go solo. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I can really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. What the hell? You see what I'm saying, guys? If you actually separate them like that, you can actually tell their talent. Haley Williams put out a really good song with B.O.B. Granted, it was his song, but still, she put out the main chorus of that, and you will forever remember that hook. In fact, I bet if played in another style, this band would be one of the best out right now. You are the only exception. Wow! Just wow. What a difference. No one's trying to outdo each other. No one's trying to outshine. It's no longer a cock race. By the way, do you think it's a coincidence the name of this single is The Only Exception? I'm actually serious. This is one of the only good songs on this album. From this band. I really think it was a subliminal thing by the band, especially since one of the worst songs on this album was called Turn It Off. That being said, I really just don't know what else to say here. I mean, it's loud, too loud. It's annoying, too annoying, since sometimes annoying can be pretty good. And it's just way too in your face. Like, somebody's just trying so hard to say, Look at me! 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 I just couldn't take it. That's it. I'm done, guys. Thanks for tuning in to Women's Month. I'll talk to you guys later.